I'm back to life. I just finished my meditation. I finished my personal development. Opened this one at Vent. It will shortly open the other one, the one with the teeth that is actually mine. This I'm just doing for my boyfriend because he's away today. But yeah, I'm feeling so, so, so refreshed after the meditation. I was listening this morning when I was washing my face and doing my makeup. I was listening to Abraham Hicks. I used to do this, I used to listen to their videos a lot often and they should introduce this into my routine. And I watched a video called Let Go and Let God. And this was this lady asking about how to let go, how to let go of this resistance of everything when you desire something. And Abraham was answering that once you have a desire, you cannot escape it. Like if you have it, it's for you to accomplish it. It's for you to have this thing. Divine is 100% sure that you can fulfill this, that you can have this. It's for you, no doubt. However, the only problem is our resistance towards things. So we have to align ourselves to this desire to this one thing that we want. And the thing is when we cannot find the best thoughts to help us align better, the only solution is either to sleep or either to meditate. So to basically stop the resistance that is creating in your mind when you think about having this thing or being into this desired situation. Be told after the summer when I had a full month of doing meditations every single day, I kind of stopped for some reason because I didn't feel like such a big 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 difference as to what I was expecting but doing it today this morning so meditating and really breathing in and trying to not think about anything it really feels like I just did a mental shower to my brain to my thoughts and it feels like so refreshing to have this inner peace inside so that's that's maybe something that I will try to introduce as a routine at least for 10-15 minutes, doesn't have to be that long. I'm curious, if you do meditate, how do you feel? I would be curious to know about your stories or experiences. This is going to be another two-in-one kind of video. I still have to catch up with a lot of stuff and work. Start with choosing today's teas. So let's see, for day 11 and 12. I found already the tall one, it's right here, and it's the lemongrass and ginger. Oh my god, this sounds amazing, I love ginger. And the number 11, so the purple one, by the way, purple is my favorite color. One is a combination of berry fruits, interesting. It's slightly different than normal berry things that you find on the market, but it sounds super interesting for sure. So these are my choices, probably I will do this one today. I wrote my notebook with the gratitude challenge for day 11. It's a super simple task, but you have to start it in the morning because you have to be grateful for every single thing that you do in the morning. When you wake up and you see things around you, be grateful that you can see. When you wake up and do your first steps, be grateful that you can do your first steps. When you open the water, in the sink to wash your face say thank you because you have running water so say thank you for every single small step that you do in the morning infuse your mornings with a lot of gratitude and see your day transforming and having an amazing positive day from the very beginning now for number 12 and this is i think one of my favorite exercises from this challenge for number 12 you have to be grateful for the people who planted a seed of love, confidence, something great in you. You can choose between three up to ten people, how many you want to be grateful to, but think about situations when you were maybe transforming, when you were maybe not in your best attitude and someone just came there, stepped in and helped you in some kind of way. Maybe with just a word, maybe with just a phrase, maybe with giving you some encouragements, maybe with supporting you financially or supporting you in any kind of help. I love this exercise and honestly try to do it a lot more than just to stay because I truly believe that I was helped so much since, since I came here to Germany. Every step of the way, I wasn't alone. I was non-stop helped. I was helped by my friends with 
German classes. I was helped by my parents in the beginning financially to start doing some steps in this area. I was helped by my partner in so many ways to figure out how to do life here in Germany. I was helped by other people to find jobs, to find connections, to find to find basically my place here. So think about this kind of moments that you have with people and really and say a really big thank you to them mentally or writing for how they helped you consciously or unconsciously to step into your power. By the way, I also wanted to show you the cutest pullover that I just bought. I found it at Primark. They have such cute things sometimes, not always, but this one is adorable. Like I love the colors and it's so fluffy and I cannot wait to wear it. I just have to wash it first. But on today's agenda, I will make myself a small snack and I will get into a flow of work for a couple of hours. And then let's see how things evolve today. <laughs> Yo guys, I, I genuinely didn't know what will happen today because the weather app didn't say anything, but let me show you. It freaking snowed. Oh my god, it looks so cute. It's still snowing a little bit. Okay, so when it's snowing these days, you know, you have to stop everything and just go outside and enjoy it. Which I'm going to do. so happy i swear every time it's snowing like the first snow of the year which is happening now i always get instantly into this mood of a child and i remember the moments in my childhood when it was snowing and we were so excited and all the kids in the neighborhood we would just go outside and start playing with our sledges or build snowmen and it's happening now again everything is so much more quiet when it's snowing and it's like a very specific sound and you feel the snow when you step on it, how it's crumbling. Just love it. Just love it. I will finish the vlog here it's been a long day and, and I will go back home to continue my my stuff to continue my applications and my my work but it's so lovely I'm just going to enjoy it I'm just going to enjoy to the maximum and stay in this feeling exactly what Abraham said to find the feeling of joy and just follow it so I'm following it now and it's getting darker anyway, so I won't be able to film anymore. But see you tomorrow with new vlogs. Stay blessed. Bye bye.